And with that, today is Dr. Hector P. Garcia Day. It's a day that commemorates the Mexican-American civil rights leader who founded the American GI Forum and fought for the rights of Hispanics in this country. That's right. Three News anchor Leslie Adamy met with, doc with daughter Cecilia Garcia Acres at the Healthcare Center here in Corpus Christi that not only bears his name, but also continues his legacy. When you hear Hector P. Garcia, who comes to mind? The doctor, the activist, pioneer, the veteran, the list goes on. But for Cecilia Garcia Acres, Growing up with him, you know, he was very strict. It's dad. Academically, you know, we had to make straight A's and everything. And he limited our social time. And I'm sure he had a fear of things that bad could happen to us also from his advocacy. Here on Hospital Boulevard is where people come to find healing, strength, faith at the Dr. Hector P. Garcia Memorial Family Health Center. Not only do they practice the type of medicine my father did, um, general practice, family practice, but they don't turn anyone away like my father. Making health care accessible, the mission then and now. To have a state-of-the-art facility here on the west side of Corpus Christi is exactly what my father would have wanted. This is where folks can come see their PCP or specialists like cardiologists, urologists for orthopedics, or even just to get prescriptions filled. In fact, this summer, they celebrated their one millionth prescription. It's been said that hummingbirds symbolize a positive energy, a sign of good luck, even healing. The same could be said about Alma Sanchez. Well, I know since I was a little girl that I wanted to be a nurse. She works to connect yes. patients yeah, with the helpers, whether that's for a medical concern or if they need a basic community resource. I love helping people, especially underserved people. She's been in nursing for almost 30 years. Early on at the old Memorial Hospital, she met someone who would solidify her purpose. Right out of nursing school, I worked at Memorial, and so I I did meet him there and um, he's, he's a wonderful person and a lot of people still talk about him. So working here, you could call it a full circle moment. And during a month with such cultural significance, it's a reminder to continue to pass the torch. Well, I grew up here and um, my Hispanic heritage is important to me. It's a good reminder of where we, we've come, but also to promote ourselves as Hispanics and our contributions to this country. Leslie Adamy, 3 News. Thank you, Leslie, for that report. Several events are happening around the coastal bend today to honor Dr. Garcia. The Island University will have a Dr. Hector P. Garcia Day celebration at the Garcia Plaza later this morning. You will have a chance to see his impact on the campus and in the community while enjoying music and desserts. That's happening from 1130 to 1230. Incarnate Word Academy will also be celebrating Dr. Hector P. Garcia during a mass this morning. The event is in celebration of Dr. Uh, Dr. Hector P. Garcia. Texas State Recognition Day. It will be taking place over at the James R. Doherty Junior Center from 9 until 10. Dunbar College will also remember the civil rights leader with a free luncheon that kicks off at 1130 at the emergency training building at Dunbar College's Windward campus on Old Brownsville and Airport Road.